Union Finance Minister Chai Dumbaram ruled out any probe into dealings between Robert Vadra, the son-in-law of Sonia Gandhi and DLF. There are allegations that Robert Vadra has earned crores of rupees without investing a single peso from real estate organization DLF. On the other side India against corruption leader Kitrawal has said that he will reveal some more details relating to dealings between Vadra and DLF on the 9th of October, 2012. Chai Dambaram participated in the Economic Editors Conference in New Delhi and made the above statement in reply to a question asked by a reporter. He said unless there are specific allegations of quid pro quo or corruption, government cannot probe the private transactions of people. Meanwhile Congress party is defending Robert Vardy saying that some people are targeting their party high command and are making these allegations to get cheap publicity. Congress leader Rashi Alwi has said that case was not filed in any police station on the properties on Vadra and neither any complaint was made to the government. BJP has criticized the Congress government that it is hesitating to conduct an inquiry on the allegations. CPM demanded that all the business dealing of Robert Vadra be inquired. Earlier Mr. Chai Dumbaram has commented on the Vadra DLF dealings that according to the information he has gathered, the dealing are appropriately disclosed in income tax and returns. Arvind Kidrawal and Prashant Bhushan are alleging that DLF has extended interest-free unsecured loan of Rs. 65 crore to Vadra in an exchange of favors from the governments of Haryana, Rajasthan and Delhi states. BJP leader and former chemical chief minister Shantakumar has written a letter to Kidrawal that Robert Vadra and Priyanka Gandhi has properties worth crores of rupees in Himachal Pradesh and asked him to reveal the details of them. Karen Betty demanded that clarity should be given on the Vadra DLF dealings. Meanwhile the comment posted by Robert Vadra in his Facebook account referring to Kitrawal Group as Mango People in Banana Republic is creating controversy. Kitrawal demanded apologies from Vadra as he has insulted India with his comments. Vadra has closed his account in Facebook on the 9th of October, 2012. Bye.